different type of plastic having the different properties that make them suitable for a different application so friend in this video we will discuss the different properties of the plastic material and their applications so like we will discuss the mechanical property thermal property chemical properties and the electrical properties so i will upload the separate videos on mechanical property and also with the thermal property and the chemical property and the electrical property in detail i will uh, upload the videos for the uh, all these properties okay so in brief we will discuss about the mechanical property thermal property chemical property and the electrical property so let's start the mechanical property of a plastic material refer to their ability to withstand the stress and strain okay so in mechanical property uh, we are uh, checking whether the component is to uh, will withstand the stresses forces or not okay so this property include the stiffness strength toughness ductility and many others okay so if you see the polycarbonate is a strong and tough plastic material okay that is commonly used in a manufacturing of a bulletproof glass and safety glasses okay next one is a thermal property thermal property of plastic material refer to their ability to withstand the heat and cold okay thermal means temperature okay it is related with the temperature so here uh, this property shows that uh, means uh, the material can withstand the uh, uh, different uh, condition of the temperature means cold uh, cold or the heat oh, under the different condition of the temperature the material should withstand the uh, all the condition or survive on the different condition so uh, the thermal properties uh, like uh, melting point heat deflection uh, heat deflection temperature thermal conductivity like that we will discuss in that okay so for example polyethylene is a plastic material with a excellent thermal insulation property that are ideal for use in packaging material so in the chemical property we are checking whether our material uh, is uh, reactive or resistive to the chemical or not okay so here uh, a chemical property is is referred to their resistance to the different chemical or the solvent okay so this property include like uh, acid bases and other chemicals so for example you can see the pvc polyvinyl chloride is a plastic material uh, generally we use in the manufacturing of pipes uh, due to their excellent resistance to the acid and bases okay so uh, if you see the pipe uh, we use and in in that pipe the some uh, uh, fluid is flowing so the pipe material should be like that it, it should not react with the fluid okay so the electric properties of plastic material is nothing but the ability to conduct or insulate the electricity so sometimes if you see the insulation material we use insulation insulating layers we use and uh, conductive materials we use okay this uh, and uh, the electrical properties like uh, electrical conductivity dielectric strength resistance to the tracking like that it comes under the electrical properties and if you see the example for the plastic material polypropylene is the plastic material that is commonly we used in the manufacturing of electrical components okay uh, such as capacitor transformers because uh, uh, the polypropylene have the excellent electrical insulation properties uh while choosing the material okay uh, while choosing the material these all properties like mechanical electrical chemical and the thermal property that we need to take under the consideration while selecting any material okay for particular application so property of the material plays an important role uh, uh, that shows that our material can handle the environmental condition and also the uh, loading condition okay so friend that's it for this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon thank you for watching see you in the next video